Hi, welcome back to Video Game Drive-By. Brian has me playing this. Use the force, Howie. <sighs> Wait, wrong game. I'll go ahead. Yeah, I'm... <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and get this out of the way now. I am not a Trekkie. I don't... I barely know anything about Star Trek. I've seen two movies. Uh, First Contact and... Ins what was it? Insurrection? Yeah. Yeah, and... I fell asleep halfway through Insurrection, so I don't even know what that was about. So I'm just going to make a quick comment. When yes. it was loading that, it glitched to a different screen for a split second and then came up to that one. And a fourth faction was vi was visible, which tells me soon we're going to get the fourth faction, which makes me happy. The fourth faction is, is going to be original series. Okay. It's just a nerdy thing that I noticed as it popped up. Okay. Brian, what do? Okay. So, this is Star Trek Online, my no personal kidding. favorite MMO. It's free to play. Um, you don't really have to throw money at it. Um, I have, maybe too much. <laughs> so you've got three factions. You've got the Federation, uh -huh. they're the good guys, they're the Boy Scouts, they try to be the very best like no one ever was. You know, they're the good guys. <laughs> okay. Then you've got the Romulans. They used to be kind of the secret militaristic big bads. They were mm -hmm. one of the many... Uh, they they were kind of the the Chinese, the secretive. Excuse you. Well, in the '60s, they were kind of the analog for the Chinese. They were. I'm not. <sighs> that's how they did this, and it was meant to be like they were the you know, the this foreign threat. But we didn't know anything about them. We didn't know anything about their culture or anything. We just locked away from them. Okay. Their home world got blown up in the J.J. Abrams Star Trek reboot, something something time travel, but. Basically, you're now a refugee of the Romulan people who just wants to live their life, and then things are going to happen. Okay. And then Klingons, they were kind of the, the everything else we were afraid of during the 60s. They were kind of the Russians. Okay, can you give us the condensed version? The honorable warriors that like to drink. Okay, <laughs> so, so they're dwarves but without being short. Actually, yes, they are very. That's an extremely good way of putting it. They, they are like dwarves. The Romulans are dark elves. <laughs> and Starfleet's just human. Starfleet's human. Well, Starfleet also uh, has the Vulcans, who are the good elves. <laughs> okay, whatever. I'll just pick them because, oh my God, what even is this? You have different races. They have different traits that you can apply. You can also be male or female, or you can just create your own. Um, oh, oh, create your own species. Yep. Okay, um, so, yeah, like, out of all these, Vulcan and Ferengi are the only things I recognize. Okay. Everything so, else. Andorians are old enemies of the Vulcans. Okay, I don't need you to explain the entire list. <laughs> I don't I'm know just most gonna, of them. I'm just gonna pick Vulcan. Um, I'm, what, what is, what does a female one look like? I'm trying to, okay, here we go. Uh, I'll just, I'll just pick the dude. Okay, good enough. Now, uh, yep. Okay, these are your, is, these are basically this? your three classes. Uh -huh. Tactical means that you are better at different types of direct fighting skills. Uh -huh. Engineer means that you are really good at um, engineering, buffing in uh, your own vessel. And science officers are really good at buffing and debuffing other people. Basically, you okay. can it, they can like root people in place, mm -hmm. place traps, stuff like that. Um, engineers they can create turrets. A lot I'm going of grenades. With yeah, I I'm went with this tactical guy. this time, or I went science officer with my character by mistake, and I really regret it. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. You can also go to advanced to really change more about your character. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna be a Vulcan with swagger. Yeah, I'm gonna be a twitchy Vulcan. Twi oh, jeez. Whoa. <laughs> I also. Whoa, you calm down, buddy. Or you could be the creature. <laughs> really? <laughs> oh no, that's perfect. That is absolutely flawless. Your battle cry is rar. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Uh, okay, now, are, are Vulcans usually considered, like, tough brawling guys, or no? They act, they're not usually brawlers, but they do have, like, four times the strength of a regular person. Fucking Christ. They are, they are surprisingly <laughs> strong. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna be a, a really, a really chill... It's a shame you can't do, like, really on the PC Vulcan. version and have, like, some of the female stances. You can be the seductive one. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> no, that's perfect. That is great. Just, just tits um, out. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I should be tits out with this guy, too. Well, you are. 
I mean, why not? <laughs> it wants you know, just unzip. You know, Vulcan rock out with my cock out. Why not? Hang out with my wang out. Roll out with my pole out. <laughs> Can I? Should I continue? Meter out with your Peter out. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's? Um, ooh. I dig it. Perfect. Um, presets. Uh, Basically, just change up the face. Uh, yeah, because I don't want to waste time, you know, d having to mess with. All the different you know, f facial details and crap. Yeah. What is you can go to advance for the uniform because I do have way more uniform, or you have more uniform options available to you in advance. Oh, R two. I'm hitting yeah. R one. Um, oh my goodness. Don't worry, it's not as complex as it looks. Just hit yeah. Go down to uh, upper. Oh. Um, oh, you just randomized everything. It's fine. Oh, that's what ran. Oh. Yeah. You know what? That's a good idea. Um, uh, uh, it's a little too yellow. Well, you can also change the colors of the outfit. Like, if you want the yellow part to be black and whatnot. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. Um, a surprisingly good color palette, too. Go with that. That's perfect. This, this is good. I'm going with this. So you're going with engineering, or you're going with science colors. <laughs> I'm a dork. Yeah, why not? Do I look like... Okay. Do I look like... Man, I'm a... I'm a They've got a random... I'm a relaxed Vulcan. Do I look like I follow the rules? What's really cool is you have your captain name, and then you actually have the formal name you can give them. But oh! Check out your random options. My random option? Suffer. Yasang. Ja so are Mar these are these considered normal for Vulcan, or yeah. is it literally just random? No, these are Vulcan names. Strim. Oh, okay. Strim. Okay, so Captain Stun. name. Stun. Captain. <laughs> Captain set phasers to me. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I take that back. Yeah, I'm leaving. That is... Okay. Formal name. Um, First, okay, um... So your last name has to be kept as stun. Unless you want to change how the, um, the how it, how the your, how the 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 first middle last is done. You can oh, have stun okay. be the first name if you want. Okay, so I can change the naming convention. Yeah. Okay, first middle last. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it first middle last. Um, what should I? Beauregard. Q stun. <laughs> <laughs> it's either um, Q or W. Those are the best middle initials. Science has proven it. Oh, this is just initials? Yeah. Or oh. you can put a whole name if you want, but I'm just saying. Oh, okay, so I can't put a whole name. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I was wondering. I was like, can I put an entire name? All right. Um, Beauregard. Um, combos. Stun. <laughs> stun. <laughs> Beauregard combo stun. Okay. And your very first chip. My very You can first randomize ship. the name, or you can, you know... I mean, let's face it, we all know you want to name it after your favorite squid girl. I didn't think of it at the time, <laughs> but now that's going to happen. Perfect. Engage. At, oh, I would love to engage Callie right now. Also, oh, that, that's that, not what I'm... That plate in the background, that uh -huh. was your ship. The plate oh. with the little thing. Yeah. Everybody gets the same ship to start with. In fact, everybody gets the same bridge crew to start with. Oh, over, whoa. It whoa, gave, what happened? I don't know. It gave me overwrite changes, okay, cancel, and it cutscened. Oh, yeah, because you changed your, you created your character, so it's fine. Oh, You're good. okay. Yeah, it's just doing the PC video. All right, okay. Um, I don't know. It just gave me a choice that said overwrite and didn't give me anything, so I got, uh, I got nervous. And yes, that is Leonard Nimoy. Years, I lived among them. Oh, okay. Yep. In fact, on New so, Romulus, there's a beautiful statue of Leonard Nimoy. Can I cut you off right here for yeah. a sec? So the the um one of the Vulcans that was shown before were either of them actually Spock or are those just like stock Vulcans for this? I'm cutscene? not sure. I think that was supposed to be Spock, but okay. I know that is. Okay, because you, you can see by his eyebrows. Okay, because because I'm hearing some of the like I'm not paying full attention to it. Yeah. But I was hearing some of the dialogue that Nemo was giving, and he was referring to himself as I, you know, the, yeah. you know, as uh, Spock who had been through the things that he had. So I wasn't sure if, you know, the cutscene was following Spock or if it was just, you know, showing random ones. Basically what they're saying is this takes place after the end of Deep Space Nine and the last Star Trek movies that weren't in the new timeline. Okay. The, the 
Klingons think we've been attacking them. We mm -hmm. think the Klingons have been attacking us. Something else is going on under the surface. There's actually a lot of plot in the missions. Uh, most of the game can be soloed. Okay. Because um, didn't you say, like, you've actually been soloing nearly everything? Yeah. Because people keep... Uh, they're not... Like, they don't call them guilds in this game, but everyone's been fleet. asking... Yeah. Fleet, okay. Yeah, everyone's been asking you to join their fleet, and you're like, mm, nah. Yeah. I'll wait until you get good enough, and we'll join a fleet together. Uh, is this your challenge to me, to get good? Get good. To get good? Get All space right. good. Space good? Yeah. I don't think that's And then, up. of course, the Borg chose oh! now to attack. Yeah. Shit. The game gets dark at times. Some of the missions are actually kind of depressing. I was about to say, that's... Yeah, getting... You know, just kind of thrown out into space. Go. Oh. Um... Is it too late to change the preset? Because, I mean, I'm already uh, outside of the, um... Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Uh... Hit cancel. Let's go see. Okay. Um, there you go. Yeah, because it was trying to change... You're in your uh, academy uniform now. You have to be. So, okay. and you rotate... There you go. Okay, so question. Does it... Can I, like, never actually see my character? It's always over the shoulder like this? Yeah, it's always going to be over the shoulder. Though there are cutscenes oh. that will happen where your captain is taking part in the cutscenes, which is pretty cool. Okay. It took a while so, for them to get that in there. Okay. Do I always have that much sass? It's like, of course, you didn't stop talking about it. And it's like, yeah, dang, actually, you I mean, do kind of have a bit of sass. Okay, so it's so it's not, like, race-based. It's just your preset answers for yeah, no so. matter who you are. All right. That would become sassy if you say it like a Vulcan would. Okay, so of this course, does... you never stop oh, talking about Oh, oh, I need to fix. I need to fix this. Oh, you're... Yeah, um... Uh, and, and I you, am stuck? Yeah, if you ever get, like, stuck on something, you go to that option, and your your character will spawn slightly above the thing, and it'll usually oh. help get you stuck from geometry and things. It's oh, an okay. MMO. There are bugs. Okay, so if you, like, physically get stuck and unable yeah. to move... Okay, Though apparently if you it. do it more than a thousand times in a day, you get banned for, like, a week. I got stuck on a rock, what? and I had to keep doing it over and over again the way that I was stuck, and I just never could get out of it. I ended up having to log out and restart the entire mission sequence, and I was banned from using I Am Stuck for a week. Oh, my goodness. Okay, um... Vert camera Y. What else is there? Uh, move equipped items to never ship. Over the difficulty... Uh, I think I'm... No, I'm not. No, if on <laughs> Advanced or Elite, you can actually become injured and have to pay money to heal yourself. What? Or not money money, but like, like your ship can get... Like current, like in-game in -game currency. currency. Yeah. Okay. But those Damn. injuries, okay. those injuries can act, are like permanent debuffs to your character until you get them fixed. Jesus. Like I was limping through space in my ship before I realized it was broken. Because I had accidentally gone to a PvE arena that was oh in Elite goodness. mode. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Okay. Um, if all about... Wait, what is... Oh, yeah, I'm not bothering for all that. Holy crap. Uh, alright. Basically, you can just else. change the color of the menus. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not bothering with all that. I, I fixed my invert, so... That's all I need. Uh... There you yeah. I to... What the... It's another cadet. He's a Saurian. For all the other types of help. Now, I'm not familiar with the physiology of a lot of these creatures, but I don't think you can talk just, like, rubbing your lips together like that. Well, in Star Trek, everybody has a device called a universal translator, uh -huh. so you're never actually hearing other races speak. You're hearing what the universal translator is doing for you. So, him being an alien, he's communicating as he normally would, but you're hearing perfectly good English. And whenever you talk to him, he hears perfect Saurian. Okay, so... That's why all the aliens in Star Trek speak English. Well, not just that. I mean, because I, I remember, you know, in Mass Effect, they had something like that. Yeah. Um, but, so that was why he was able to just rub his lips together and I can hear him fine. Because so, that's probably... That's so the that excuse like, I'm now? giving for bad animation. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> it's the in-canon excuse I'm giving for bad animation. Good of you. Okay. <laughs> so the, the Universal Translator is a thing yeah. in Star Trek. It's just that they probably... Even Saurians probably don't speak by just rubbing lips together. They no, most do. are just normal people and they talk perfectly good English. Fucking <laughs> Christ. Alright. Just going crazy, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Duh, alright. Speak to Kanet. What's his name? Also, yes, this is San Francisco. Wait, what? Uh, the, the academy is in San Francisco. Oh. Um, neat? I guess... It's just cool to see an actual uh, a landmark. Okay. 
honestly, I'm reading a lot of this, and you're telling me a lot of stuff. Oh, and, sorry. <laughs> well, it's not that. It's just that I feel like a lot of it's wasted because I just don't know any of anything Star Trek. I mean, your look, your point is behind you. Your map Fine. in the up, upper upper left or yeah. upper right actually has an arrow pointing you to the next person you need to talk to. Oh, it's locked north. Okay. Yeah. I'm sitting here thinking like, like the thing is fo like it's forward. Like if I turn this way, oh, it's pointing up. That means go forward. Okay. Oh, I didn't okay, know yeah. that. Is there a way to fix that? Because that's gonna bug me. Um, HUD. Uh, let's see. What's how, um, where is the thing for the I'm compass? not sure if the map has any kind of ability to change it. I've... Oh, God. Okay. Um, uh, God, that's going to bug me so badly. chat is just right. how to get stuff to go away on the chat screen. Yeah, I don't give a crap about chat. I'm not, I don't plan on talking to people. Mostly it's really bad Gorn puns. What? There's a race what? called the Gorn that look like a Tyrannosaurus in gold clothing. Oh. And they make all kinds of really bad puns all day long. Such as that, that action figure, the Gorn Bread Muffin. Okay, because I'm... Yeah, when I, when I hear the word Gorn, that something very different, very horrible comes to mind instead. I feel like this is going to need uh, to be elaborated on, potentially off cam off uh, mic. <laughs> yes, this is going to be elaborated on off camera. Okay. That's not... Ugh, God. Ladies and gentlemen, next episode of Drive-By, maybe I'll be done talking to this... This... Cat? Actually, the, the Kaitan. The... They originally premiered in Star Trek The Animated Series. Okay, whatever. So I'm talking to Chris Kaitan here. He can have cheeseburger. <laughs>